With our patient today, you will hear me talking about what's called lymphedema, which is a chronic swelling of the legs. You can also get it in your arms. But what happens is that the skin gets very thick and very fibrous and it can break open into sores and you'll see that in it toward the end of the video. Um, and you'll hear us talking about it as well. So sit back and enjoy the video. What, I see that your right foot is all wrapped. What's, what's been going on with your well, swelling? Well, I just, here? this sores came back and then they started, they're almost cleared up and then it flared up again. This. Back in the hospital I went. Okay, the sores from? I spent most of summer on quarantine in the apartment. Okay. Crazy. I don't think it's ever going to clear up. Well, remember, we almost got it completely know. cleared up. Are you still working with the wound care nurse I, coming I, out? I, do you know who Vice Park is? Uh-huh. Okay. They are coming out now. Okay. Or, and what are they doing? Just just bandaging? Or are they doing well, the lymphedema massage? I, I had it unwrapped for about a week and a half. Okay. And then when she was in the other day, she said, you know, I'm going to wrap it again. Are they doing the lymphatic massage, though? What are they doing when they're there? Uh, they do, they, they've got stuff they're putting on it. Who is the I, doctor that's following it, though? I have no, well, Dr. Fugles then. So your primary. But when I was in last time, he said, well, that looks better than I've ever seen it. I told him we should have taken a, a picture of him. He was down at his hands and knees and he cut two of my, my toenails. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I can picture that. But he's a nice guy. I like he him. is. Yeah. Very nice. Um, okay, so the, the swelling has just stayed. Well, the swelling is pretty well down. She's, I thought that foot, the swelling was all gone, but she said, no, it's still a little bit swollen, so. And what are you doing for the swelling? Just the water pills. Okay. Because you were having someone come out and work on it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, she comes out. No, I mean work on the swelling. We did have somebody coming out and doing. Yeah. better than screaming. I <laughs> so, eh. well, you're the only patient in here right now. You could scream and swear as much as you want. You won't scare anyone away. They have one on the other foot as well. That, that's a mess. Well, yeah. We'll clean it all up and make it look a little better. And feel better. She said, I don't want to cut any more than she did, so... I'm, uh, I'm my foot's on a candid camera, huh? Kind of, yeah. We've done this before on you. So, why is this foot so dry now? I have no idea. So, it's not like they've told you you can't do anything? Well, I could put lotion ice board on it, but she's got it wrapped, so. You, you can take the wrapping off if you want to. I was, yeah, I was planning to, just to kind of take a look at what's going on. But has she had you keep this dry? Is yes. that why it's, you got all this skin peeling off well, here? they don't want it to get too moist. I guess that's what a lot of the problem is. Right, but now it's super dry. It's awfully dry right now, yeah. That's the one toe that goes on crooked again, but no, I don't want to go to foot surgery again. Yeah, I don't I'll have a crooked toe, thank you. Yeah. I think the cr little bit of a crooked toe is probably the least of your worries with this foot right now. 
And uh, she's got me in that sandal thing in it. Post operative or, shoe. Or from the hospital. And yeah. It rubs on my little toe. Okay. So I've been keeping a band aid on there. But the band aid must have come off in bed. <laughs> it's not there. Nope, it's not. So we'll get everything done here with the nails and then I'm going to unwrap that bandage and see what's going on. It's gotten <clears throat> the worst is the bottom of my feet peel. Mm -hmm. Well, as the um, swelling goes down, that will happen. Yeah. Oh, it was. They were. It was really swollen. Right there. Is that a scab or something? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a scab. Oh, they'll sit and peel the skin off mine. Right, we're going to just get, I'm going to get a nice warm towel. And we're going to wipe a bunch of this stuff off. So, but, um, so do you mind, just keep it on a, a white shot there and just keep it on. Mm -hmm. And do you mind getting a um, warm, wet towel and a dry one? Have you got different glasses? Oh, I have a lot of different glasses. They're all just oh. cheaters off the internet. So 
I just pick up whatever's closest to my computer at the time. Is that high enough? Yeah, you're fine. Let's see how they get, they just... Right. They could just dry. How often are they coming and changing this? Twice a week. She comes again on, on Monday. I have her put that on my heel because my heel is so sensitive with that boot thing on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks good. This looks good? <laughs> I just seen it when I was in the hospital. Now, when you went in the hospital, was it all infected? No, I, that, I don't know. I had a different company be, besides LifeSpark. Okay. LifeSpark is the one that goes into the assisted livings? Well, it, they, kept, they kept calling me and finally from the hospital, I told them I didn't go want to go with the other one again. Okay. And uh, so she said, well, we recommend LifeSpark. So I thought, okay. All right. Aren't those cute? They're beautiful. <laughs> it's such a temptation to not want you want to pull that skin off. Like that? Like that. <laughs> Is the video with the camera? Can you see what's going on with the leg? Can you see all that? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, that looks way better. Yes, it does. And start doing lots and lots of lotion on the skin. Do you think just. Not in between the toes, just on the surface. What? You mean just. Don't put the lotion in between the toes. Just right, regular hand, yep. hand lotion? Regular hand lotion. Okay. Well. So I just want to see what's going on down here. Some dead skin. All right. So, you know, I'm looking at what she's got on there, and I don't see, all I see is the Telfa dressings. Covering this. Are you on an antibiotic right now as well? I just went off of it. Okay. All right. So and and we have we got you that pump, right? The that what? The the compression pump that helps with the swelling. That doesn't help one bit. Okay. So I'm gonna recommend though uh, next time that the nurse is there from LifeSpark bring it out and show her how you're using it because I can't imagine that it wouldn't help because it it compresses all the fluid out and that's part of how we got this to heal last time um, let me just have the camera for a second so these are all the wounds on the leg that are just coming from the leg being so swollen Let's just bandage this all back up today. And then um, next time, when is the nurse coming back out? Monday. I, I think Monday. Okay, good. So that gives you the weekend to find that pump. It's in the closet. Okay. I want you to bring it out and show her how you're using it because my sense is that something's not being done correctly because it really should be helping to squeeze the fluid out of out of the lake so we'll just go ahead and wrap it up um, with what she had and um, then we'll see you for your feet and your nails in a couple months does that sound good okay all right thank you for letting us video and um, we'll see you in a couple months